Hello everyone, it's Lisa, and welcome back to Dragonware Decaf. In this video, I will show you how to get your old Windows games working on your Steam Deck. First, open up the Discover Store and search for Wine. Install both Wine and Q4 Wine. Now search for Lutris and install it. If you're going to be using an ISO file to install your game, search for ISO Mount and install Mount Unmount ISO. Now open Dolphin and find your ISO file. Right click on it and select Mount. You should see it show up under Devices. If not, close and reopen Dolphin. Now open Lutris. Click on the plus icon in the top left hand corner and select Install Windows Game from Media. Give the game a name and click Install. If you want to install games to your SD card, open Q4 Wine, select Prefixes, and create a new Wine prefix. Give it a name and then open up Dolphin. Go to your SD card, create a folder, and copy that path. Now go back to Q4 Wine and paste that path right here. If you're looking to save space in your Steam Deck, I recommend letting Lutris install games in the default folder, and then copying the game to your SD card later. This is because Wine creates a gigabyte of folders for each game. So I just went through and manually put all of mine in the same folder which saves a ton of space. Also, I find with older games, creating shortcuts through Lutris doesn't really work, so I just leave those unchecked. Now go back to Dolphin and find the game's autorun.exe file or setup file. Right-click on it and select Copy File Location. Paste that path into Lutris and hit Continue. Now the install will begin. I find game installs can be a little bit finicky, so I recommend not installing DirectX and not launching the game at the end of the installation. If the install completes but crashes at the end, hit Cancel in Lutris and DO NOT delete the files. Now hit that plus button again, but this time select Add a Locally Installed Game. Give the game a name and change the runner to Wine. Now go to Game Options, then open Dolphin. Navigate to where you installed your game. If you're using the default settings, it will be located in your games folder. Open the folder named after your game, select the C drive, and depending on the game, it'll either be here, or it'll be in one of the program folders. Locate a CXE file, right-click on it, and select Copy File Location. Now paste this into Lutris's executable field. Next, you'll need your Wine prefix. If you set it to your SD card, open Dolphin and go to the folder you created. Then copy and paste the path into Lutris. If you're using the default wine prefix, the path is forward slash home forward slash deck forward slash. Now if you try to launch your game and it requires a disk, it will not launch. It doesn't matter if you're using an ISO or if you have a disk drive hooked up to the Steam Deck. The game won't find the disk. What you'll need to do is download a modified exe file or a crack for your game. This will eliminate the need for a disk. To do that, go to LoneBullet.com and search for your game. I recommend going for a modified exe file over a crack, just because you will need to use Windows if you do download a crack. Extract the RAR file using the password Lone Bullet, then extract the RAR file that was inside that RAR file. I know, weird, right? If you download a modified exe file, copy that file to your installation folder on your Steam Deck. If you end up using a crack, you will have to install the game on a Windows computer and copy the files to your Steam Deck. To do this, run your install, wait for it to complete, and once it does, go to the installation folder on your computer, paste your crack, run it, and then copy those files to the Steam Deck. Now back on your Steam Deck, locate your Wine folder. It should be in your Home folder, but it might be hidden by default. Click on C Drive. Now paste it in the same location it was in when it was on your computer. Now you're going to want to do exactly what we did before, 
and open up Lutris, click on that plus icon, select add a locally installed game, give the game a name, change the runner to wine, go to game options and paste the path to your exe file right here. Now you'll need your wine prefix. If you set it up on your SD card, open Dolphin and go to that folder you created earlier. Then copy this into Lutris. If you're using the default wine prefix, the path is forward slash home, forward slash deck, forward slash. Now it's worth noting a lot of these games do not want to work in desktop mode, or if they do, they'll seriously mess up your screen's resolution. That's why I recommend adding Lutris to Steam. You can also add individual Lutris games to Steam by going to the Lutris shortcut and editing it. Change this to flat pack in quotes, and this to two quotation marks, and change the last line to this. To find your game's ID, go back to Lutris, right click on your game, select configure, and it'll be right here. Now add this to your Steam shortcut, and now you just have to do this for every single game you installed. Tedious, I know. If anybody knows a better solution, just let me know in the comments down below. If any of your games rely on MIDI files for music, go to the Discover Store and install QSynth. Next, you're going to want to download a default Windows sound font. Link in the description. Open QSynth and go to Setup. Now select Sound Fonts and open that sound font you just downloaded. Now click OK and then hit Yes on that scary message. Next, go to Options and check Enable System Tray icon and start Minimize the System Tray. Now when QSynth opens, it will just run in the background. Close QSynth and go to the Steam Deck's desktop. Create a new text file and give it a name. Just make sure you put a .sh at the end of it. Now right click on it and select the text editor. I will post a copy of this script in the description down below. Now just like the Steam shortcut, change Dino to your game's Lutris ID. Save the script and open console. Type CD Desktop, and make sure Desktop has a capital D. And now type chmod u plus x in the name of your script. Now right click on the script and add it to Steam. Now when you open your game using the Steam shortcut, both QSynth and your game will launch. This will allow your game to use MIDI files. And now if you want to try that space saving technique I mentioned earlier in the video, all you gotta do is find your files in your game's folder. Copy the installation files to your Wine folder. Now go into Lutris, right click on your game, select Configure, go to Game Options, and change where the executable path is, and the Wine prefix. That's it for this video, I hope this helps, and if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below.